In this lesson, we're going to add the accordion feature. You can open up an existing page or you can create a new one. So I'm just going to create a new one here. And then you want to make sure that you choose a title. You can put whatever title that you want there, but I'm just going to put the number one. And then you want to go where it says add on and click on it. And you want to choose the accordion. Now, when you come to this section here, you have the option of adding a title. Or you can just leave it as, you know, default my title you have the head in here you can choose the different tags h1 uh, through h6 if you also want to add the font size you can put the font size here if you want to put the font weight sometimes you want something to be bold or italics and you can change the title color as well and then for the margins here sometimes you want to put a little bit of space you know above or beyond below uh, this particular section here <clears throat> if you have other items in that particular spot and then for this here, you can choose the accordion styling. You have primary success, info, warning, or danger. Now, these are based off the Twitter bootstrap framework. So you can you can choose which one that you like, and it's just going to change the color of the style. So when you come here to the very bottom, you have the accordion title. It's going to change that to one. And then you can choose an icon. So I'm going to choose here Android. Now, you can you have two choices. If you want to add more uh, accordion list here, you can click on Add New. Or if you want to copy the features or the parameters of the uh, existing one, you just click on the Copy here, and it's going to automatically copy that for you. That's a lot easier when you want to add, you know, several items. So instead of you having to recreate everything from, you know, from the ground, you can just copy that and I'm just going to put there the anchor you can choose whatever you want and then you can edit the text that's shown there and I think those two are sufficient here okay so let's click on save so now you have the accordion and you can click save and close or you can click on save and once you save that information and then you can click on view page this is going to show you what it looks like now one of the great things about this is that before you publish this to the general uh, public you can be able to customize it and tweak it so you see what it looks like and if you're satisfied then you can you can publish it to uh, the front end of your website so let's take a look here at the accordion style and so let's just change the background color of where this accordion title is when you click here it drops down nice and you know nice and easy so let's say you want to change that. You're not satisfied with that gray background and you want to change that to something else. So let's try here primary. So primary and you click save. So now let's refresh this and see what it looks like. So you've been able to change the title section here, which, you know, this is really great. If you have a website and you want to, you know, you have a certain color scheme that you're working with, you can choose the different colors that are available there and it's going to match perfectly with your website.